My famous fans, I remember I told you I had invaded Paris to bring to you the latest juicy gossip about the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. While getting ready to storm the streets of Paris, I stormed on this distraction on page 6 controverting Bella Hadid and Almighty Adidas. I found myself guilty to go search for gossip in the streets of Paris while I have one right here in my hotel room, so I stayed back to spill the tea about Bella Hadid's response to Adidas after controversial ad, my famous fans. Let me five into this hot top that's been making waves in the fashion world. Supermodel Bella Hadid has recently addressed the controversy surrounding her involvement in an Adidas ad, admitting she was shocked by the lack of sensitivity in the campaign. Bella has come forward saying she should have done more research before participating. We're going to break down what happened, Bella's response, and what this means for celebrities and brands moving forward. Stick around because you won't want to miss this one. Bella Hadid, a model and activist, has spoken out about her involvement in a controversial Adidas campaign that has been criticized for its insensitivity to the 1972 Munich Olympics tragedy. The campaign, which was released earlier this month, features Hadid holding a coveted classic sneaker from the 1970s to honor the 52nd anniversary of the Munich Olympics. However, Hadid has expressed her disappointment and upset over the campaign's lack of sensitivity to the tragic events that occurred during the 1972 Games, in which 11 Israeli athletes and one German police officer were killed by a Palestinian militant group. In a post on her Instagram story, Hadid stated that she had no knowledge of the historical connection between the campaign and the Munich Olympics and claimed that her team and Adidas should have known about it. She also acknowledged that she should have done more research before participating in the campaign. I would never knowingly engage with any art or work that is linked to a horrific tragedy of any kind Hadid wrote. My team should have known, Adidas should have known, and I should have done more research so that I too would have known and understood and spoken up Adidas has since apologized for the campaign and its negative impact on Hadid and the other models involved. The brand acknowledged the unintended connections made to the terrible tragedy that occurred at the Munich Olympics and expressed regret for any distress caused. Hadid's father, Mohammed Hadid, is Palestinian and she has been an outspoken advocate for Palestinian causes. She denounced the campaign's unintended highlighting of an event that does not represent her people, stating Palestine is not synonymous with terrorism. She also emphasized her stance against anti-Semitism, writing, anti-Semitism has no place in the liberation of the Palestinian people. I will always stand for peace over violence any day in her post. Hadid also expressed her pride in her Palestinian heritage and emphasized that there is much more to their culture than the negative associations that have surfaced recently. She reiterated her commitment to advocating for peace and unity, saying hate has no place here. And I will forever advocate for not only my people, but every person worldwide. Hadid's statement has sparked a wider conversation about the importance of cultural sensitivity and respect in advertising campaigns. Many have praised Hadid for speaking out against the campaign's insensitivity and for using her platform to promote peace and unity. Background. The 1972 Munich Olympics were marred by tragedy when a group of Palestinian militants from Black September entered Olympic Village on September 5, 1972 and took several members of the Israeli Olympic team hostage. The crisis ended in disaster when German police attempted to rescue the hostages, leading to a shootout that resulted in the deaths of all nine hostages and five of the terrorists. The event was widely condemned as an act of terrorism. Adidas has since removed the campaign from its social media channels and apologized for any offense caused. The brand has also pledged to be more mindful of cultural sensitivity in its future marketing efforts. This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of cultural sensitivity in advertising campaigns and highlights the need for brands to be aware of potential cultural references or symbolism that may be offensive or insensitive to certain groups. Additionally, this incident has sparked a conversation about the responsibility that celebrities and influencers have in promoting cultural sensitivity and awareness.
Many are praising Hadith for using her platform to speak out against hate speech and promote peace and unity. The incident has also led to calls for greater transparency from brands regarding their marketing campaigns. Many are urging brands to do their due diligence when creating campaigns that involve historical events or cultural references to ensure that they are not perpetuating harmful stereotypes or triggering trauma. As a result of this incident, many brands are re-examining their marketing strategies to ensure that they are culturally sensitive and respectful. This includes conducting thorough research on historical events and cultural references before using them in their campaigns. Ultimately, this incident serves as a reminder of the importance of cultural sensitivity in advertising campaigns and highlights the need for brands to be aware of potential cultural references or symbolism that may be offensive or insensitive to certain groups. That's all for today's video on Bella Hadid and the controversial Adidas ad dad. What do you think about Bella's response and the responsibility of celebrities in such situations? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest in fashion and celebrity news. Thanks for watching Famous Faces Scoop TV where you will never get a dull moment. Au revoir, à bientôt, je suis à Paris.